So in this video I will tell you how I made this luxurious bedroom in Blender. This is sort of a time lapse video but don't worry I am here with you telling everything. And also you can download the project files link is in the description. So let's get started. Okay so here's our default scene so let's delete this light and this camera. Now let's select our cube and press 1 to go to front view mode and move it upwards while holding control to snap it to the center. And now for the dimensions, so I will set the Z dimensions to 8.5 and if you press single inverted comma it will convert it into feet. Then I will set the Y to 15 feet and X to 17 feet. Now if you press shift and tilde key which is located right below the escape key, you will turn on flying mode. Now if you press W, A, S and D you can move around and now if you scroll you can increase its speed. So now I will adjust my camera and and you can increase the clip start value to get rid of the walls. And also I have changed the focal distance to 30. Now I will append my bed which is uh, made by me. With the project selected I will select append and under objects I will select everything and append it into my scene. Now I will reposition my bed and my camera also real quick. Now let's select our room and let's go to edit mode. Now add in two edge loops and extrude the faces on the sides. Now I will add some more edges to create some grooves in this wall. Now let's add in some edge loops again and create our big window. And you can now extrude this face and just delete that. Now let's add in some edge loops for our ceiling and then select the faces while holding control and then extrude them upwards. Then extrude again just a little bit and move it upwards. Here we will create a groove here. Now let's select these edges and while holding alt press ctrl b to bevel. Now increase the number of segments to let's say 30 and change the profile from super ellipse to custom and I'll give it a custom cool shape and, and you can add in yours. Now in object mode if you click the drop down of overlays and check face orientation you will see that uh, every face is looking red. So now to turn that blue you just go to edit mode and press A to select all and then press ctrl shift and to recalculate the normals. Now every face is blue and this will solve the problem. Now in edit mode again select the faces of our wood panels and go to materials and add in a new material and I'll call it wood and hit assign. Now select the faces of the floor and go to select, uh, select similar and normal. Now it will select all of the faces of the floor and now let's add in a new material and I will call it wood and floor and hit assign. Now let's select our walls and deselect the floor and the wood panels and add in a new material and call it walls and hit assign and the rest material will be our ceiling. Now let's go to shading tab and let's select our wood floor material and go to ambientcg.com and search for wood floor. Uh, I like this one so I had already downloaded it and don't worry you will get the link in the description. And with the node wrangler add-on turned on, if you select the principal BSDF and press Ctrl Shift T, uh, it will open up the PBR setup. Now select the texture you have just downloaded. So in this case, I will select the base color, the normal, displacement and roughness and select principal texture setup. So now as you can see, currently the tiling is not correct. So go to edit mode and press A to select all and go to UV and smart UV project. Now it's good. Now I will rotate it on the 90 degree and I will scale that to 4. Now let's select the wood material and go to ambient CG and let's search for wood smooth. So I like this one so I downloaded it and again it's the same process for the wood also. And for the walls let's search for plaster and I like this plaster too so I will download that. and. And also in the render settings for the viewport, I will change the noise threshold for uh, 0.1 to 0.01 for better details. And by the way, I am using cycles. 
and for the walls i'll change the displacement value from 1 to 0.01 because it was very overwhelming now for the ceiling let's search for concrete and i will use this concrete 34 and decrease its displacement value as well now in render view if you look at this area it is very dark here and it's it is not natural so to fix that let's add in a plane with a white material and it will fix that now i will add in a sun uh, with a an angle of 30 degree and strength of 40 and a bit rotated on the y axis so the sunlight is coming inside our room so now as you can see this is before the plane and this is after adding the plane uh, there is much difference now let's add in some edge loops to wood panels and create grooves for lighting now let's add in a area light here in the groove and make sure that it is facing towards the wall now duplicate that by pressing alt d instead of shift d because all the duplicates link now turn off the sun and adjust the intensity of the area lights and i will make them orange now on the ceiling let's add in a cylinder to create the ceiling lights so in edit mode just insert this face and extrude it inwards and assign it a black metallic material and assign it a emissive white material on its face which is facing downwards Now move it to a corner and let's add in a array modifier and you can increase the y value for the distance and increase the count for the quantity and now let's duplicate them by pressing alt d and i will duplicate it on all the four sides and then i will change the emissive value to 10 now let's create a groove on the ceiling so you can select these faces by holding alt and then clicking on the corner and it will select the whole face loop and now let's extrude them and scale them so that it will create a groove now shift right click here to add in a 3d cursor and add in a area light and scale it to the appropriate size and make sure that it is facing upwards now let's duplicate this by pressing alt d on all the four sides now adjust its intensity and i will make it orange as well Now in the world settings I'll set the color to sky texture. Now I will set the sun intensity to 0 because we already have our own sun. Now I will set the air value to 0 and rotate it on the opposite side of the sun because we only want the ambient light to come inside of our room. Now I will set the air value back to 1.2 and let's add in a window with the archimesh add-on. and adjust it to the size of our window and also i have changed the pvc material to a black metallic color now again in edit mode let's create a groove for our curtains and if you want to create curtains i have made the easiest curtains in blender so you can watch that tutorial now so i have added my curtains and let's create its material so let's add in a translucent bsdf and a transparent bsdf and plug them both in a mix shader and now for the factor let's plug in a furnan node in it and also make sure that translucent is number 1 and transparent is number 2 or the vice versa will happen now you can add in a color ramp node to adjust the furnan value and if you select the color ramp node while holding control and shift it will show how the color ramp looks and the value of the color ramp Now I have added a plane for the carpet and added a simple carpet texture in the base color and same goes for the bump also nothing special and for the side tables I have added just a simple cube and added two edge loops and extruded them inside and then I applied the scale by pressing control A and then select the scale and then I have added a bevel modifier to smoothen the edges and also i have added a grayish metallic color to it to give it a modern look and then i installed an add-on called blender kit which is free by the way link is in the description uh, with that add-on you can add 3d models materials and much more so first i search for table lamp and filter it to free first for the sake of the tutorial i am using free models only so i added a table lamp on both side tables Then I added a pair of slippers, a leather chair, 
By the way, this chair has keyframes, so delete them or it will scare you because I was. Then I added a coffee table, coffee, magazines, uh, an armchair. Then I added a cube on this wall and adjusted it to look like a painting. Then I added a simple texture to it, nothing special. At last I added a nice little chandelier and changed its bulb material to emissive and then and later I changed its intensity. Then in the render settings under color management I changed the look to medium high contrast and samples to 4000 and under light patch I set the preset to full global illumination and then just press F12 to render. Okay, so that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, consider subscribing to this channel and you can also thank me to support me. So that's it for today and I will see you next time.